You've got a carpet of brews that you don't know what to do What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot, yes it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, John T, the cocktail idiot, and... Georgie, the camera lady. Oh, you jumped in early. I yes. like you. I like to say more than one word. Okay. That was not in the script. Sorry. <laughs> we should swap. You can be the Georgie idiot. No, thank you. And I'll be the cameraman. No, thank you. Okay. Right. Today, we are going to be making one hot buttered rum. Mmm. Georgie doesn't like butter. Oh, I like butter. I don't, I don't like rum. Oh, she doesn't like rum. So this one's for me. Right, so you're going to need some very simple ingredients. The most important ingredient, obviously, is rum. <laughs> Not butter. <laughs> Let me get there. All right, yeah. <laughs> you want some rum. You can pick whatever rum you like. Some dark rum, this golden rum, spiced rum, take your fancy. And then you're going to need butter, Obviously, you're going to need some sugar, you're going to need hot water, not boiling water, but hot water, and then some spices. Cinnamon, what else have I got? All spice, and some nutmeg. And that's it. A nice wintry cocktail. Is that what it is? It seems wintry when you add nutmeg and cinnamon. A wintry cocktail is about to commence. So this is a nice easy one because it goes straight in your glass. No shaking, just a little bit of stirring and muddling. And you're going to start with your butter. And you're going to get your spoon, your bath spoon, and you're going to take... I melted this slightly just to try and give it a little bit more softness. But you're going to put a bath spoon of butter. Softened butter. Softened butter. Let's get that out of the way. And then you're going to take your sugar and you're going to do two spoons. Two bar spoons of sugar, like that, and then you want some spice. So we're going to start with our all spice. There you go. Couldn't well open done. It. Pop that in there. Bit of cinnamon. I presume it's how much you like these spices to how much goes in. Exactly. Right. Take your choice. Okay. Put that in there. And then a bit of ground nutmeg. You don't like nutmeg then? Not as much, no. And then we're going to do a little bit of a muddle. So you just want to get your butter and your spices all nicely mixed up, like so. Cool, right, once that's done, next you're going to need your rummy rum rum and you're going to need to put in 50 glorious meals of your rummy rum rum. I'm saying rummy rum rum a lot, aren't I? I know, I, I don't think it's a nickname. It's not going to catch on. And then lastly, you're going to need a wee bit of water. I don't know what accent that was. But you're going to need 100 ml. Oh, that's going absolutely everywhere. I'm just going to wing it. Perfect. The perfect amount. And that is all you need in your glass. And then you just want to stir it up a little bit. Give it a mixy. Get that butter to melt. Mix in with your rummy rum. You have to work on it for a bit. And there we go. Easy as that. All that it needs now is a bit of garnish. And I thought we'd do fun garnish today, George. What is the garnish? Cinnamon. Burnt cinnamon. Yeah. It's lovely. And then, one little bit of a cinnamon stick. Which way? Like that? Like that? Well, we could have a general vote, but we can't, sorry. 
no general vote. And there we have one hot buttered rum. This is a nice short history time actually. So that's gonna keep Georgie happy. <laughs> because the history of the hot buttered rum is hard to pinpoint because it's one of those old timey wimey cocktails which go back many, many years. In fact, it goes back to probably between some point between 1500 and the 1800. And that's because really early cocktails favoured using dairy products, mainly because that's the only thing they had accessible in the kitchen. Things like your butter, your milk, your cream. But they didn't have access to wonderful things like lemons and limes and pineapples and passion fruits and mangoes and Kahlua. oranges and... Ka what do you mean Kahlua? Well, it's just it's coffee. In. They probably had more access to coffee. Oh, okay. Because... <laughs> Because these products were perishable, so moving them around the world was a wee bit of a challenge. Not sure why I went a wee bit Scottish there. <laughs> that just came out, sorry about that. Back to my British self. So bartenders basically had a spirit and then they'd mix it with whatever they could find. And this is a typical drink, probably of the colonial times, that is, in America. An American drink. And I know what you're going to say. Jonty, it can't be colonial because it's got rum in and that is Caribbean. And I'd say no. Because actually America distilled a lot of rum. In fact, they were more considered the they were more considered? They their rum was considered more the drinking rum for the high class. And the rum of the Caribbean was considered more of the workforce rum. Rum was then phased out of America after the Civil War. And obviously that's when they started making their bourbon. Their bourbon? Their bourbon. Depending how you like to pronounce that. And they got rid of that British rum stuff. We're not having that rubbish anymore. We're American. We're not British. And that's it really. It's a very old drink, but still a very tasty one in today's modern world. So go away, try it, and drink it. I don't know what else you can do with it. Try it and tell us how you like it. And if particularly enjoy it on winter evenings, because I think that's, that's mm. what it's made. It's a winter drink, as Georgie said. And that leaves me to the fun part of asking you all to move that mouse or move that finger on your screen and do a little bit of liking, a little bit of commenting, and even more, subscribing. George is making faces at me, and also I'm going to remember, without being reminded, to get yourself on the Instagram. Yeah. Down there. Tag us a few of your drinks. Yes. And there we go. That is one hot buttered rum. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. The cocktail idiot.